I've known that area for since I'm a kid actually. This passage I remember was probably 12 or 13 and I was having this friend from school and her mother was a photographer. So she took us with my friend Eva, she took us in that passage to see this gallery where a friend of her was showing. Since that day, I really loved that gallery. Now it's been restored. It was sort of dark. It's been very nicely restored. But even before it was restored and very dark, it was very, very pretty too. So they've been restoring, you see, all the way up. So I was trying to buy a lamp and he would not. He's called Eric Philippe, a charming, charming man. And I was trying to buy a lamp from him. He wouldn't sell it. So I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to have it for sale, to, to buy it. He would not sell it. So anyway, to end of the story, he knew that I was designing shoes. He said, what about your shoes? I said, you know what? I stopped. I stopped because I was fed up to work for people. I did a fantastic, I did a fantastic work with Mr. Roger Didier, taking care of his exhibition there, to the Louvre. I don't want to work for any, anybody anymore. So I decided to change and now I'm actually doing landscape. You know, so when, so when Eric told me that he says, but do you regret your shoes? I say, yes, I do. I do. He says, so why don't you do it yourself? Get a thing. So he pointed at me at that gallery. I first opened the store. I started the company at the end, uh, in mid-November 91. And I opened the, uh, I opened the shop at the same time. So for all of 92 and a part of 93, I was selling in the store. So I was the first year. So we opened the 21st November 91. So the first year there was me, there was Leticia, myself, and a girl called Sarah. So we started the three of us. So I was actually between the shop and uh, I was between the shop and uh, first to start a front where I was doing the fabrication and then after I moved the fabrication um, in Italy. So I was between Italy and the shop there. First of all, when you sell in a store and nobody knows that you're the designer, you have immediate feedback about what is happening, what people like, why they like, how, you know, how do they feel in the thing. And also I was observing the whole attitude of a woman, which I knew, but the whole attitude of women when they try on shoes. You know. So when a woman tries on a pair of shoes, she puts a pair of shoes. Then she goes straight to the mirror and then she looks at herself. You know, she's going to look like that, like that, turn her back, and then you know, showing her silhouette, looking at her silhouette, and actually, if she likes the way she looks, she's going to at that moment look at the shoe, but probably not really not before. So I've been understanding, which I sort of knew, because I already had worked with shoes, but I've been definitely. Uh, completing my exam on the fact that it's all about poster, posture and silhouette. Don't try to have a pure target. Let your imagination under the, at the command and let it flow. Let it flow. That's the best thing. Your life is going to bring you in corners you're not expecting right now. Just let it happen to you. Don't fix yourself in a target. Don't think, okay, in five years I should be there. In 10 years I should have done that. I should have achieved this after 15 years. It doesn't matter, you know. What, what is nice is what you do, what, you know, what your experience, where your experience is going to bring you and how much fun you're going to have. Instead of thinking, you know, I have to do that. Don't be rigid to, with yourself. You will be the first one to be broken by that. Just, just take it. But it was, it was very, very exciting. The problem that I had is that I had to give, you know, you have to have some permission, etc. And um, so till the last minute, it's been a bit of a frenzy because I had my Vespa, I took my Vespa, I had to deliver that paper, um, I don't know, I don't remember the paper, 
and then I cross the red with my Vespa instead of doing this and that I just cross so I did something that you shouldn't do and ping I was stopped by police and they arrested me and they say ah you know you did this and then I said yeah 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 you know I'm such in a rush I have to go to that lawyer to drop that thing it was like you know that's not a reason enough so I stayed like literally we had like a, I had a cocktail with friends around six o'clock I left the I left the, the police station at like 5 30 so I was under the state of panic I started to cry saying please you know I have this thing and they were like you know who cares I said I do care you know if you don't if you don't let me believe me I do care and so it was really super friendly but nice 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 very very nice okay bah, je te vois tout à l'heure alors ciao bisous ciao I was talking to this friend of mine who's actually living there. So he has this gallery I was telling you about, Galerie du Passage. So he has the nicest walk in Paris from his home to his bureau gallery. I just called them. I just called Pierre to see if they were there, but he says, no, 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 we just moved because it's in the middle of the full on mm. restoration. So that's a very nice gallery. You know, basically the center of Paris was designed in the 19th century when they started to really redesign a part, you know, before Haussmann and during Haussmann. The idea is that if ever there was bad weather or problems, etc., you could literally cross all of the center of Paris with gallery. So you would be covered all the time. So you see, we, we, we left the Palais Royal, we left the Vero um, Doda, so we just crossed a little street. And then we arrived to Palais Royal where they have all these arcades. And then from there, we arrived in here. So basically, if it was raining today, we would not even need an umbrella. I mean, yeah, a little bit sometimes for like one little street, but you wouldn't be sucking wet. I think you say that in English. Us, Parisians, we definitely know that we live in the most beautiful city. If someone from London is coming and saying, mm, I'm sorry, you know, I live in the most beautiful city. First, first is not going to happen. But if it was going to happen, I would laugh. After laughing, I could really fight. That's not good, you know. I wouldn't let this possible. But if someone from Rome is telling me, mm, Dai, si, Parigi, è bello. Ma in fatto, io sono da Roma. E Roma is even more beautiful. I would not fight because as a lover, as a lover of my city, I perfectly understand that you could be in love of Rome the same way as Paris. And that's why actually there is definitely... I've been buying great things in that place. I bought two you. It's a bit of our burden too because, you know, sometimes people can't see the Parisian are very rude or a bit pretentious and okay i'll have to make my apologize about that it's look at that door i don't know how you can get in oh never mind beautiful day it's nice i like in here ah. thank, thanks to the <laughs> thank you so we're arriving to this very, very small flea market, which is during the week instead of the regular flea market, which are during the weekend. It's nice on my way when I'm dropping my kids, I go this way. C'est moi qui vais vous demander des royalties. You know, you don't have one skin tone. You have so many skin tones. I started by five uh, skin tones, now seven, going on nine. But, you know, I saw that people love what you call nude. But what is nude basically is really, for a pair of shoes, it's basically having a pair of shoes which disappears on your skin. So if you look from far, you just see the length. 
you know, nude is not one color, it's a spectrum of color going to a very fair complexion to a dark complexion. So, you know, you can't say, I'm doing new shoes and you do a best shoes. You say, oh, you say, I'm doing best shoes. But if you do new shoes dedicated to be close to the skin of women, you have to work with the skin complexion of women. And beige, you know, this beige is just a complexion for few people. So I don't think it's inclusive or anything, I just think it's very normal. And that's the minimum that one can do. Again, you know, it's a collaboration. I would say that collaboration starts with two people. So, you know, sometimes I'm doing shoes for designers, for catwalks, etc. And that's one thing, one sort of collaboration. Another sort of collaboration is having a client who has got specific requests. And it's very nice. It also works for me as a laboratory. But when you are as close as possible to the desire of one person who is excited and has very specificity she's asking you, it's really, it's really a, a nice thing because I'm dedicated to my work, but my work is dedicated to women. So it's nice to be able to give that luxury space to one person. Bye-bye. And enjoy the rest of the city.